Hello everyone, welcome to Chance My Kitchen. Today I'm going to share with you on how I made this super delicious high protein, low carb, leftover meatloaf sandwich. So let's go ahead and get the cooking started. All the ingredients, I will list them in the description box below. This recipe is the best to make it with your leftover meatloaf. You can use any greens, any lettuce of your choice, okay? I'm using the low-carb version of bread. If you can't find or get a hand on this bread, don't worry. You can use any kind of bread like white bread, whole wheat or whole grain, or the bread that you like, alright? So here is the leftover meatloaf from last time, my previous video that I made. If you want to know to make it, go check it out, alright? This will only have two slices left and I will cut half. I will save one slice for my next recipe that is coming up and one slice for this recipe. So I'm slicing the tomato because I don't have any of the big tomato at the moment. So I'm using the cherry tomato. I will slice them the way I want it or the way that I can put into the sandwich, okay? Here is the avocado that I will use to spread on my bread. When we make sandwich, we don't have to use exactly the same ingredient like other people. We can be creative, use whatever you like, whatever you prefer, put into your sandwich. That way you will enjoy it the way you like. It will also fit your taste bud and satisfy your craving. That is why we call homemade is the best. I'm adding some sliced onion here. I'm using this kind of sliced cheese. However, you can use any kind or any of your preferred cheese, all right? You can add pickle in there as well. Today, I will keep it simple and use the one that I showed in here only. For the cheese in your sandwich, do you like to melt them or just leave them as it is? Leave me a comment down below to see which one do you prefer, all right? Add the tomato. Slice meatloaf. I forgot to take a video or film a video about how I heat up my meatloaf, but you just simply put it into the plate and microwave for about 45 seconds to 1 minute until it warm up. Or you can cook on the pan or skillet until it's warm, okay? Then you can use it for your sandwich. For the green or the veggie, I'm using the baby green salad mix. You can use any lettuce of your choice, okay? So after you put everything in there, you can just simply put both of the bread together to make a sandwich. And if you like a little bit spicy, you can add some sriracha in there. Or you can add some ketchup and mustard in there if you prefer. So today I'm making sandwich. I want to know or curious to know why sandwich was invested in the first place. Here are some information I have gathered. I hope it will be interesting for you as well. Here I'm adding some sriracha on mine. If you find any value information or enjoy my video, Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos. I am much appreciated your help and your support to my channel. So here is the final result of my sandwich that I made today. It's very colorful and look healthy, delicious. It's low carb, high in protein keto and paleo friendly if you are looking for a keto sandwich give this recipe a try look at that it's so appetizing what do you think about my sandwich today 
leave a comment down below to let me know all right if you want to know how to make the meatloaf i will leave the link down below in the description box and also on the icon up there you can check it out so now we'll cut the sandwich into half you can have as a whole sandwich but i prefer to cut it into smaller piece so i cut it into half and we'll take a look at inside the sandwich oh my goodness look at how beautiful that is it looks absolutely delicious wow 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 look at that have you ever seen a sandwich look this beautiful and colorful and appetizing as this one well this is why we call homemade is the best right whenever i have sandwich i always great for because my young childhood at that time i didn't get a chance to have any sandwich but today i'm grateful that i can have as many as i want so let's give this sandwich a taste to see how it is mm. oh my gosh everything is just perfect and it's so good i hope you give this recipe a try if you want to see how you can make the leftover of your meatloaf, here is the recipe that I'm going to do next. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. See you on my next video. Bye.